Hey guys and welcome back, my name is Katy and today I have something different for you guys I've never done one of these videos before so let's just jump right into this video So some of you may know I am a student, I study computer science and I'm in my third year, hence the title So today I'm going to tell you what I have experienced Disclaimer, this is based on my experience I'm not saying that it happens to everyone like this or it happens at every university but I'm going to tell you some facts that I know and also some things that happened to me so let's just uh, begin so let's start with the ratio how many females are studying computer science? at my uni it's only 11% so for example a lecture hall will be full with students with only 10 female students and 200 male students yeah it has a pro though because us females stick together and you'll find more quickly a female or a group of female uh, to be friend with. I, for example, in my first year, I walked up to some female students and we became friends and we're still friends because you know you have something to bond with. You can tell about your experience being a female student studying computer science and how is it like. So let me tell you a little about how my first year went. Uh, in the first year, you are put into groups that consists of 15 to 12 students. I was, put, I was put into a group where I was the only girl in it. So that was, to be honest, a little awkward because you felt a little left out. I felt a little left out because they were talking only about guy stuff, you know, video games, soccer matches, game matches, things that I couldn't talk about, knew nothing about. So that's why it was kind of awkward at first, but I know you get the hang of it. So. For introduction week in the first year, we went to camp and I had to stay in a cabin with my group. So for them, it was so comfortable to just change in front of each other and also me. But I, on the other hand, it was so awkward that literally I went under my sleeping bag, no, I mean in my sleeping bag and changed there because no way I'm going to change in front of a group of males. So that was kind of a funny story. But now let's move on to a more serious topic that I also want to share the light on. Discrimination and generalizing. Have I experienced it? Yes. First, remarks you get from a few guys because of your look. Exhibit A. Hey, what's up girl? Hey. What are you studying? Oh, really? But you're too good to be studying that. Excuse me? Oh, oh, sorry. Okay. I'll, I'll be leaving. Yep. That happened. True story. Second, guys that think that they are better than you and when you get a high score than them, they get mad. I had a co-male student who always wanted to compare his grades with mine. And when I got a higher score than him, he would get so mad and won't talk to me for days. Like, yeah, weird. I think it was his personality though, so I'm not saying that all guys are like that. Third, feel that you have to show the guys that you deserve to be here as much as them so they can accept you. Yeah, not a nice feeling. That was only in the beginning though, so <laughs> thank gosh. But I think it was also more that because this study is dominated by men, I felt like I had to show them that I also can do this, I also can study this, I'm as good as them. So that's why. Fourth, getting discriminated by one of your professors. Yeah, that happened to me in my first year. So it went like this. When I'm always asking for help, he will sound annoyed and give me short answers. And first I thought, that it was only towards me. But when I observed the situation, I've noticed that he was like that towards all the female students and the total opposite towards the male students. He was gladly to help them and explain them the material. So I was like, okay, wait a minute. There's a huge difference how he behaved towards male and female students. But this was the cherry on top, guys. One time I was just minding my own business, working on my assignments. He walked up to me and asked me, how is it going with your assignments? And I thought, okay, this professor has a change of heart. <laughs> Who am I kidding? And before I could answer him, he added, you're not going to pass this subject. I was like, 
in my head. Excuse me? I was so shocked, guys. Like, I couldn't believe it, what, I, what I just heard. And to be honest, it stung. But because of this remark, I was so determined to pass the subject with a high score. And guess who did that? Yeah. I passed the subject with a high score, so take that. But guys, also sometimes we will make remarks towards females that they are not able to study computer science during his lectures. Yikes. But I want to clarify though that honestly, all the professors I got afterwards are uh, non-biased, they are knowledgeable, they know their material so they can teach you the subject really well. So I'm really glad that I didn't experience that anymore. Let's end this video on a positive note. I feel more accepted into the group. Some of the guys make an effort to talk to me, to change the conversation topic so I also can talk, ask me about my interests, explain their jokes to me. So you'll also be more comfortable around young male adults you'll start a conversation easily with them you'll get their humor most of the time not always most of the time and i have nice colleagues both female and male whom i share good study moments with and also some of them are my friends right now so girls don't be afraid of choosing a study that men dominates do what interests you computer science isn't only for men but for everyone and that was my video guys let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are because I'm really curious to know if you like this video and also what you think about the things that you've learned in this video. I step out of my comfort zone. I've never done one of these types of videos so hope you like it. And can we get this video to 10 likes and subscribe for more awesome videos coming soon. I'll see you next video. Bye!